Here are two things I do not want you to copy from Cameron Norrie's serve. The first is the height of his toss. Now, the way you're going to measure the height of your toss is on video, put the ball at the top of your head and then throw down a timer. And what you want to do is time it to see how long it takes for him to hit the ball from this point. The timing that I want you to use is somewhere between 0.6 and 0.9 seconds. That's from this point right here until contact. So let's see. Let's see how long it takes for him to hit the ball from that point. And there it is. Point one, I'm sorry, 1.06 seconds. His toss is way too high. And as a recreational player, if you try to copy that, it is absolutely going to mess up the timing. You'll see here, he actually has to pause the racket in order to accommodate that. Because his toss is so high, he actually has to pause the racket at this point, which is completely different from what we saw with Nick Kyrgios. So I do not want you to toss so high that you're without, or sorry, you're outside of that range, forcing your racket to have to pause because it typically really screws up the recreational player's serve and the leg drive timing, everything. So please go out and film yourself. Make sure that you are nowhere near the height of Cameron Norrie's toss and be sure that you're not pausing the racket because it simply is not going to help you hit your best serves. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, use my link in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So toss low enough that you can have a continuous swing. And when you do, there's no doubt that you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.